Hi guys, thank you um, very much for us, um, you know, having us here today. As Jane mentioned, I ha um, am a career agent at Frog. I've been there almost four years now. Um, and going back to what she was saying about the, you know, what career advice and the statistics that came out of, you know, 18 year old self, um, I think I'm pretty much true to form in terms of career pathway, different careers, um, you know, having no idea what I, what I wanted to do when I left school. So, you know, um, in terms of my career path, I've had various roles over the last, um, you know, since I left school. Um, and they've been in industries like uh, flooring, retail, hospitality, optics, and now HR and recruitment. Um, but if I think back, I've probably had about three significant jobs that really um, opened my mind up to, to different career paths at different times. So you'll get a bit of a feel for that um, as I go along. Uh, when I was at school, I wasn't really um, particularly academic. Um, I certainly didn't set the world of school on fire. Um, and, and that kind of resonated with me that, you know, perhaps school might not be my thing. Um, you know, I've been brought up with super hard-working parents. So the day I turned 15, I went out and got my, well, went to look for my first job and get my driver's license, who um, you know, I think a lot of you could probably resonate with. Um, my first job, um, thankfully, um, you know, was with the warehouse in Papatoi. It was a little, little place, insignificant to the larger ones at Manukau, and, um, and it, you know, it was a great place to work, and thankfully, they hired me on the spot. I had to tidy the shelves, I had to tidy the stock room, anything that was messy, I got to tidy it. Um, and you know, I was the best tidy upper they had. Um, but what it really also exposed me to was, um, you know, the awesome uh, world of customer service. I mean, customer service flows through everything that um, that you you know do within any career, basically. Um, so that was customer service, stock management and control, and also management as well. Um, I was there for about six years, and by the time I left, I was checkout supervisor. So I'd kind of worked my way up the ranks, tidy upper you know, customer service um, in different areas. And by the time I left, I was managing a staff of, um, or a team of staff that were twice my age. So, you know, that was um, something quite daunting, but also it was something I was quite proud of um, that I'd made it to that point. So um, when I was at the warehouse, um, I left school halfway through my seventh form year, so year 13. Not that I recommend that, um, Maggie, sorry. <laughs> so, um, as I said, I wasn't really academic and I wasn't really thinking that I wanted to go to university. So I decided to, um, to leave school. The good thing was is I, that I had a full-time job to go to at the warehouse. So I wasn't sort of going to do anything. And I had also applied for um, study at MIT the next year after. Um, I wanted to be the number one best chef in New Zealand. Um, you know, you, you see all those television programs, Gordon Ramsay's, I wanted to be that. Um, then reality hit. Um, I found out what the hours were. I found out what the pay was, and I was like, "Nah, that's you know, there's no way I'm going to be doing that." So uh, my focus changed. But again, while I was there, I picked up a few skills along the way. Um, one of those was silver service, and I learned how to make a mean cocktail. Um, you know, to this day, I use one of those skills. To this day, so you know, you can probably guess which one it is. So after six years at the warehouse. Um, it was time to kind of move on and, you know, on the way to sort of my career pathway. So I took on an administration job for a flooring company. I was there for about two years. I learned how to lay a floor. I learned how to polystyrene a floor, um, you know, lay a cork floor in a bathroom. Um, so I picked up a lot of skills along the way as long as with admin. But um, after two years, that kind of lost its appeal as well. Um, but again, I picked up all of those skills. Um, and so I kind of made the decision um, to go off and travel. I still really didn't have a direction in terms of a career. Um, so, you know, I was at an age where I thought, OK, I'm going to go off and travel. Um, and I went off to um, Europe and I travelled around in a van for five months. Um, there she is, Fanny. And um, so, again, learnt a lot of experiences, utilised the silver service, utilised the cocktail making, worked in some bars and some restaurants. Um, so after some crazy times overseas, um, which, you know, a lot of you have got to look forward to, um, back home I came 
and none the wiser on the career front. So I decided to um, take on a reception job at a, an optometrist. Um, after a short time, my bosses could see that I was a little bit bored um, and I needed a little bit more stimulation and I really wanted to you know, pick up some responsibilities. So they um, gave me the job of a dispensing optician. So they're not the ones that test the eyes, they're the ones that, you know, when you go into Specsavers, um, they show you how to, um, well, they choose your frames with you, they teach you how to put contact lenses in, and they even, um, you know, make the lenses that go on the glasses. So um, those are some of the things that I picked up and, and, and got to make the lenses for the glasses. So again, um, you know, lots of skills picked up there. By this stage, I was feeling a bit anxious. All my friends seemed to have a career path, um, and I didn't really have a direction. Um, I didn't know what I wanted to do still, um, even though I'd been out of school for a while and, and been through lots of experiences, I still didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, in the back of my head, um, I really wanted, well, event management really kind of interested me. I love organising parties, I, you know, who doesn't? And I really wanted to um, you know, do things like organise big day out or dance parties or you know things like that I thought that would be pretty awesome so uh, in 2005 at the um, ripe old age of 28 um, I decided to go back to school um, and you kind of you would kind of think well you know after all this schooling why would you want to go back um, and it was really daunting um, you know I had to go back to no money loads of exams and that kind of classroom experience I hadn't been in a classroom for almost, um, well actually over 10 years, so it was pretty scary. Um, I chose uh, to study the Bachelor of Applied Communications at MIT. Um, I thought it, would, it was pretty broad um, in its offering, so I thought you know, it would give me a good insight into what I needed to be a really good um, events um, manager. Um, and so I took on that, um, and what I found really surprising um, was I loved it. It was just one of the most amazing experiences that I've ever been through. It really opened my eyes to other, to other avenues. Um, and in Jane, as Jane mentioned, um, while I was there, I was um, privileged enough to um, be awarded a scholarship. And what that involved was uh, a year working at uh, Monaco City Council in their um, comms team. And there I kind of started to feel um, that I was kind of finding some direction. Um, I loved the communications, the organisational kind of stuff. And while I was there, I got to work on the, um, the brand. Uh, they rebranded uh, Monaco City Council at that time. And that was awesome. And I did a lot of things like PR releases and um, went out and talked to community groups that were attached to Monaco City Council about the branding. Um, so while I was at um, MIT, in my last semester, I applied for a, a quirky little ad with a, it was bright orange, frog on it, um, for an accounts administrator. Um, so I thought, oh yeah, that's, you know, I could do that. No worries, it, you know, a bit of extra money while I was studying. Um, little did I know sort of the impact that frog would have on me. Um, I wasn't successful for the job to start off with, and then I was. So that's kind of another story, so you might want to ask Jane about that. So I eventually got hired at Frog um, as an accounts administrator. Um, Jane, with her years of re in recruitment, had a particular um, idea of, of what, you know, maybe what a good recruiter um, would be, you know, what a would, good recruiter would look like. Um, and that was a, um, a combination of sort of HR knowledge and um, communications, which, um, you know, is, is, you know, I walked through the door and I had that with my, with my degree. Um, and then as my interest in HR grew, I um, moved into, you know, the role that I'm, I'm in now. Um, I started off in temporary and contract as a career agent and then moved into the more permanent side of the things. Um, and, and the twist of the story is, um, you know, I'm currently on a, on a secondment, a long-term secondment at the warehouse. So I'm back at the warehouse where my first job started. It's always been a personal goal of mine to, to work within the HR team at the warehouse. Um, and, you know, I'm doing it, I'm living it. So, um, you know, that's, again, through all the experiences that I've picked up through different jobs. So, as I say, I mean, what my career journey's taught me is that it's really about being open to new things um, because you never know where those experiences are going to take you and you never know what you're going to kind of learn, learn from it and, and you never know where you're going to end up.